for it. Um, but I'll explain that in a minute, pretty much. Okay, so here's the first adventure, the Dragon Adventure. Sure. So here's, Trilock the Dragon has been released. He aims to destroy a magic quest. As duel to finish this fire-breathing beast and prove that your skills are the best. In order to complete this quest, you will need the Rune of Freezing, the Protection Rune, the Portal Rune, and the Ice Arrow Rune. So, uh, alternatively, you can also have the Healing Rune, if that's needed. So, so here's the other, um, um, I guess I'm going to keep reading the Riddles for each one of these. The order of the symbols is critical here. Down in Forgotten Hollow, you'll find them within a great painting. These symbols appear. You better be served if you mind them. Outside the dragon gate, a lone crystal awaits. Secure the right rooms, and the crystal, and, and the crystal shines green. But if it glows red, you're not ready, old demon. And that's another thing about magic quests. Before I move on, I'm going to explain something else. Pretty much in Magi Quest, if you're going to a residence, such as the dragon, the pixie, the princess, or, yeah, well that's pretty much all you'll get in the Great Lafflage one, but there's like a crystal in a, like a container, like a see-through container, and if you happen to see one of those, where, where's my wand? There it is. Um, if you see one of those, just cast at it and it will change one or two colors. If it glows green, then that means you have collected all your items and you are ready to go. But if it turns red, it means you have not completed your request and there are still a few items or so that you need to still get. It's also worth knowing that if you don't know which item you have and which one you haven't, you can just approach any of the Magi friends like Lady in the Leaves, the Owl, Old Man the Stump, Tree Man, Stargazer, and they'll tell you what you have and what you don't have. So yeah, pretty cool. Alright, so I'm right, moving on. I'm rich. So, um, the rune symbols show on their columns beside either end of the dra great dragon gate. The order is essential and can't be denied, for the dragon takes hold of your fate. Now boldly touch the portal rune to open up the gate. I keep that wand close by because the sleeping beast awaits. Inside the mighty dragon gate, a podium faithfully awaits. So cast upon the empty there on top and for the dual pre repair. Again, the right order for casting is crucial. Rear protection, then freeze, then ice arrow. Timing's essential. Be forceful and truthful, and you'll add this fierce dragon to your magi collection. So yeah, that's the strategy. See right there, kind of revealed it. Mm. Alright, next up is the pixie adventure. Serena the pixie cried out with a sigh. My crystal has gone missing and now I can't fly. Seek out the lost crystal, return it, and then... Her powers of flight will be whole once again. For this adventure, you will need the Enchant Creature Rune, the Healing Rune, and the Dazzle Rune. So, set out on this mission to recover the goods, find a magical creature in a cage in the woods. And I'm just going to say right off the bat, that creature's name is Smudgy. He's, I guess he's a ferret? I'm not sure what he is. I think he's a ferret, though. Anyway... Trixie Pixie's hideout in an obvious location. Make stones that guide your journeys be your next de destination. A place once forgotten that not many have seen is a home to a red chest with a crystal of green. With crystal in hand, to the Pixie take flight, power her podium, and prepare to delight. The crystal glows green if you found all you need. If not, it glows red and you cannot proceed. Once again, Resident. Serena's crystal is close to her. I'm certain you have seen it. So grab your wand and cast that it and do it like you mean it. Two times you'll heal this magical gem and help her to recover. Then twice restore its dazzling power and watch that pixie hover. So yeah, 
pretty cool little adventure. I mean, it's fairly simple, but yeah. And that's one of two adventures where you just gotta keep casting. There's no really um thing about it. I mean, pretty much the only really battle, the only really adventure which you actually have to select manually what rune you use is the dragon battle, since that's actually a duel. Well, the other adventure, like the pixie adventure, is not a duel. So, and with that out of the way, we are now moving on to my favorite adventure, which is the Ursa Major adventure. And pretty much, pretty much for this, this quest, you, well, I'll say that in a minute, but pretty much, here's the riddle. The amulet seek if you wish to have Ursa, then gems in this order you will find in the store. First ruby, then emerald, then sapphire, then topaz, and finally diamonds with powers galore. Return it with the amulet quickly to Ursa, and cast all gems which you have in supply, and then, just like magic, your bravery traverse a great barrier to his heavenly home in the sky. So, for this quest, you will need the Great Wolf Rune and the Celestial Rune. Now, I'm going to be honest here. The Celestial Rune makes sense since you're summoning Ursa Major. But for the Great Wolf Rune, I don't know what you really need Tomaska for. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Tomaska. But maybe Tomaska and Ursa have some kind of bond or something, since they're both celestial animals. But pretty much, that's beyond the point. So here's the real. So now this one you actually have actual items for, so you know you can actually see um, you know, items on there. And anyway. So here they are. The wolf and the eagle on canvas together. A fury of fangs and a flurry of feathers. The fifth master magic star shines without fate, from above where this painting is often displayed. Among mighty quest trees, it's advised that you walk to seek out the portrait of the red-shouldered hawk. For the amulet chest to be found and possessed, down the pine path go if you earn it. The almighty station is this chest location. Cast your wand at it three times to earn it. Five stones hold the key to your journey's success. Find ruby, then emerald, then sapphire, then topaz, then diamond. In that order, no less. Yeah, you gotta give them in order. Um, Magi must activate the Pixie Tree House over crystal. This will activate the amulet box inside to summon Ursa Major. Once Ursa is summoned, stones can be returned to place and back to, into the stars. And then the final one is the Silver Dragon, which it's um not really that important. It's a good battle. It's tricky too. But I really didn't fight because I had the cheat thing. But anyway, I'm just going to read it right here. The Silver Dragon is loose and the king is in danger. Lucari and Willow oh, do ask your help in defeating this large scaly stranger. Are you up for this treacherous task? The Dragon Podium awaits with two choices presented. Think carefully before you select a shield you gain first. Then a dragon... Demented, you'll fight and his kingdom protect, or the kingdom protect. So, first up is a crystal shield. Five riddles you're asked and five riddles you'll solve. Then, in order, five dazzle crystals you'll find. Do the podium come back and the dragon attack? If you're still dragon doing incline, silver dragon. Your wand and your wits are your weapons of choice. Along with your crystals collected, when your colors start flashing, your first course of action. It's to match them all as the dragon directed. You've got to act quickly, correctly, and strictly, in order without hesitation. Four series correctly will stop him directly, and the poor is safe for imagination. And believe me, though, I got close to beating him manually. I just started to fight him manually for once just to see how I do. I did pretty well for my first try, but, you know, it's not really flying. And then what I was saying was, was pretty much my cheat thing, like if you have the fire burst topper, which I do, I do have it, it's just not on my wand because I want the wolf instead. But pretty much, much, um, yeah. If you have that fire burst topper, you won't have to fight him, you'll just automatically beat him. I didn't even know that until it was too late. 
So pretty much that is Magic Quest, and just a little unearthing, Carl, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but uh, pretty much if you get a compass like this, then you can do what's called Compass Quest, which is the same thing as Magic Quest, except it's just nine additional quests that you can, you know, do if you want to. I mean, it's fun, kind of, but I do prefer Magic Quest over Compass Quest, so, yeah. Wow, 43 minutes. That's crazy. Now it's 44. And just so you know, you don't need to open this compass to do compass quest, but it does open up. And it's a plastic compass. It doesn't really work. But it's kind of unique because, like, it's a sundial compass. So, yeah. I don't know. That's kind of cool, if you ask me. So, um, anyway... So anyway, if you'll excuse, oh, sorry, hit the camera. Um, so, um, so yeah, once again, this video is mainly dedicated to Carlos Ponce, and now this is a much more in-depth video than my, pre you know, my original in the spirit den, but. Yeah, so I guess this is like an in-depth video, if you were, like, pretty much the first one, I guess, is for those who don't have a lot of time and they just need to get the basic gist. But as for me, I guess I've read every riddle in the ancient book of wisdom, so, yeah. But anyway, I'm happy to have done this for you, Carlos. If you didn't ask me about it, this video wouldn't have happened, so big thanks to you. And... <laughs> Yeah, so once again, Magic Quest, it's an awesome interactive game. I love it much, so much, even though I've already beaten it, I'm still playing it. I am that much of a fan. And also, speaking of Magic Quest, if you want to check out some of my videos from my previous Trip Grave Fludge oh, about a year ago, you can um, check out, well, oh, you know, the video is quite um, eagle and wolf painting, wolf speaking. Um, How and Wolf Statue speaking, and Wolf in the Stars speaking. Now, just so you know, for those of you who are familiar with the Magic Quest of Great Wolf Lodge, you know the Eyes of the Wolf speaks, too. Now, I would have done that on video, but the problem is, it wouldn't work for me. Like, it wouldn't give me the, um, he wouldn't talk to me. I mean, he would, all I would say is, you have already completed this task. But, when I go back, I'm going to try to film him. Again, and maybe I'll get both his phrases. Now, I do remember both his phrases, but his voice is just so cool that I just can't dare impersonate him. So, oh, yeah. So, yeah, if you excuse me, I <laughs> it would be great. Hey, fun. I can't wait to go back to Great with Lodge. I'll do another video on that. But as of right now, I'm just happy to have... have you know, made this video for Carlos, and thank you once again for requesting this, and... Hang on a sec. Oh, snap. I think I hear Tomaska calling. So, you know, I have to get back to the Magi Point in order to you know, see what he needs. So, until next time, this is Spirit the Alpha, signing out. I'll see you guys back in the pack. Portal Rune? Transport.